<laughs> I'm taking everything you've got. This is why this area takes all day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ass. No. That wasn't. You, you made a good move, though. That's this lock. Yeah. Fuck it! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, last one. You're gonna, like, put your, like, entire, like, law firm out of business. Yeah. <laughs> Game, last one, I swear. Like, five, five bucks at a time. Overweight bulldog in a fucking, like, oh, in a fucking one suit. Hit. Um. Is Another it? 11 will put you over, but that's the only thing. If you get a 10. I like the images on these cards. Get. I kind of want to own, like, them. Not like yeah. physically, I just just having the pictures will be neat. Yeah. Yeah. Any pictures. Something yeah. about this game, the art's really fucking good. No. I understand. Feel free to come back. Oh, so that this. wasn't anything? Check, check that. Maybe you have to like beat him three times in a row or something. Oh, uh, maybe. Uh, that kind of sucks, but yeah, maybe. Uh oh. We like have to like. Go until he doesn't want to anymore. Yeah. I've been playing for years. <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing for years. Alright, fucker. In Bulldog society, it's pretty normal to bite each other while we play cards. It's a pretty good place to stop. Yeah. yeah. Anything over 15 is a pretty good place to stop. There you go. Eat my feces, bitch. I will. I'm a full dog. Alright. Alright, fucko. <laughs> yeah. Alright, shit stain. <laughs> We're playing blackjack for real. Hit me, baby, one more. T Ooh. Um, let's see, 14. Yeah, you'd probably be fine. Oh, I'm one. doing it. Yeah. Ass. Damn no. it. I mean, he probably would have gotten over though. Yeah, this this can't be what we have to do. <laughs> it's, it's it's luck. Like there's no way that like we can. Yeah, let, let's try talk. try the I, uh, the drinking room, I guess. Yeah, that's what. And the only thing that would even there's only a little bit of skill to it in the early innings. There, oh, oh, Fontaine. Which one's Fontaine? Fontaine is the dog Fontaine is the dog because he his mouth. Yeah. Okay. He was mouthing off. So I'll, I'll there go. I was. In the grasslands, ten kilometers down river, rifle in hand, I had been pursuing the set of footprints for an hour. I was getting closer and closer. <laughs> I could almost smell the beast. Then I spotted it. It was a boar, a big, stupid boar, completely oblivious to my existence. <laughs> I readied my gun and carefully took aim. Then bam! Yeah, you shot it? I don't know what his voice is. This? Yeah. Uh, it was a parrot. No. Know. It was a most peculiar thing. The boar slumped over dead right before I could take the shot. Sounds like one of them heart attacks. My nan went the same way. That's what I thought. But when I went to take a closer look, I noticed the boar was frothing at the mouth. Whoa, it was a rabid? Possible, but I don't think so. I remembered reading something about frothing around the mouth being a symptom of poisoning. Okay. Mm -hmm. Needless to say, I left the dead animal alone. Good call. Who wants to deal with tainted meat? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That guy that died was a dog, right? And he ate chocolate. He didn't. The ro it wasn't poison. There was no poison. He ate a fucking he, he ate bar. a bar of poison. Yeah. <laughs> only for dogs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, that, I, I was that, actually kind of putting those pieces together before you said it. I, I didn't even think of that until now for some reason. Yeah. Like, I wasn't really thinking about it because I forgot who... Like, that, I, that would be super good. I, that's probably what happened. Yes, can I help you? You say that the beast you were tracking down might have died from poisoning. Can you give us some further details? Further details? I'm not much of a poison expert, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, what do you think caused it? I would guess that it ate something bad. 
I saw some of that poisonous plant around. Wolfsbane, I think they call it. Okay. Okay. Chocolate would be Wolfsbane. <laughs> but really, I have no idea. I'm a hunter, not a vet. Excuse me. Excuse me, monsieur. What is it? I don't suppose you've seen it. I don't suppose you've seen a Juan Carrido around here. He's Spanish royalty. Foxy fellow, swanky hat! Calls everyone senor! That doesn't sound familiar. Do you recall seeing anyone like that, Piero? <laughs> Ain't got a clue! Sorry, messieurs. You're barking up the wrong tree. Well, what can you tell us about the Spanish royal family? Do we look like walking encyclopedias or something? I'm afraid my compadre has a point. If you want to talk about hunting, then I'm your man. Oh. Yeah, uh, whatever. <laughs> well, Spanish rolled. <laughs> that sounds like a question to be answered in a library, monsieur, not a tavern. Library? Maybe you're right. Sorry for bothering you, monsieur. But... Alright. Two, you gotta you gotta beat him three times oh, you're on ready a row. To hit the road. You sure? I bet. I How much do you bet? Bet my five whole dollars. Oh big fellow's return. Absolutely. You wanna smell my butt to smell my <clears throat> Or is he a walrus? He, he looks like a bulldog. Yeah, I think he's a bulldog. A French bulldog. A French bulldog. <laughs> Alright, motherfucker. Ooh, that's a good start. Mmm. Yeah. Uh, it's fuck. It's not great. Yeah, because it's, but... it's not good, but like, all, I have such a trend of low things that I'm due for a high one soon. Yeah, just this. Yeah, just this. Yeah, just, just, yeah just stand that one. We're gonna lose this one. <laughs> Maybe. We, might, we won the first one when we got 15, so. You never know. He might get real greedy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was that was that was fair though, because I mean like yeah. You hit the stand button, you just get fucking like <laughs> plowed by star pot. And, <laughs> and it's this case even has chocolate in it. I mean, <laughs> oh yeah, stop. Yeah, he fucked up! Yeah. yeah! Eat a bag of shit! Alright. <laughs> yes. Kill me. Three in a row. That was one. Come on, gotta get a 20. 20 is a good number to get. It's 11, okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's a stop in points. That's decent. Yeah. <clears throat> Fuck! Dang. That's bullshit. That's total bullshit. <sighs> Fucking hell. Alright. Is it like a, is it like a, you just, like, I don't know. We, we may see you after the cut. I suspect. Well, the thing is, I'm rendering this right after you guys go, because I'm leaving for Florida, like, almost immediately. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah. Cool. Oh, nice. perfect. So, yeah, none of this is getting cut. Not a damn second of this. Good. So now I can talk about my Not a damn fiddle of this. <laughs> so, like, Get it? Because the pop culture? Yes. Yes. Pop culture is mm. pretty delicious. Mm. I'd go for it. Damn, that was... That okay. was... That was fine. <sighs> I'm just gonna skip this. Yeah. We'll just have a crucial piece of evidence that we don't get. <laughs> That'll be fine. Yeah. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Occasionally, special cinematic marked by an exclamation point will pop up on the map screen. Ah. The Bibliotheque. Cache. They yeah. take no time to visit. Ah. This Le Louvre. That's a special. The, s the storm is brewing, Lord Robo. Oh, my. Oh, okay. 
Is this like some part of the overarching story? Maybe. The proletariat's got confidence. Oh, it totally is. Cowering. Well, before we have a riot. Okay. So a revolution is happening right underneath uh, all this shit that's been going down. And you're just kind of Rats are... Either rats or giant wool. I don't know. <clears throat> all right. Probably rats. Oh, uh, you can go to the library. Yep. Here yeah, for a little light reading, are we? Not quite, Sparrowson. I'm following the hunting beagle's advice. Don't eat poisoned pork! The other piece of advice, that if we want to learn about a member of royalty, we should hit the library. Oh, that makes sense. Say, Falcon, I've been meaning to ask, since we're in a library and all, are you a classic literature fan, or do you prefer more modern works? Readings for squares, man. I like how they give you. I like the classics, squares. you know. Hélène René Lesage, Crébillon Fils, that sort of thing. <laughs> Don't try to act smart. I saw you reading that book of naughty limericks on the, uh, the other day. <laughs> you did. You didn't think I would no I would notice because yeah. Oh no, it's because you put a dull-looking slipcover over it. But I knew, Falcon. I knew. Would y'all miss yours? I don't know. <laughs> Mind lowering your voices? I could hear your squawking from the other side of the building. <laughs> it's a stonky. Oh, I guess. <laughs> no, his, no his, his name is Nathan. Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. Oh, shit. My apologies, Monsieur. We'll keep it down. Poor Nathan. <laughs> Wait, you're a librarian, aren't you? Yeah, it's me, Nathan, the librarian. <laughs> do you want to take over for Nathan? Nathan? <laughs> you want me to just keep doing what I was doing? Yeah, you can go for you it. You do it, uh, donkey shirt. An astute observation, yes, Monsieur, as only quite... That's only quiet okay, person. <laughs> I can't even hold this together. I am almost. I am most assuredly the librarian. <laughs> well, now that we have have your attention, my friend, wants to ask you something. I do. Oh, right, I do. I borrowed this book from a friend. What can you tell us about it? Don Quixote La, La Mancha. It's a classic. Everybody has, everybody's read it. Yeah, everybody. But for those who have it... Oh, oh man. Hmm. I'm not, I'm not going... I'm not going to sit here and summar, uh, summarize a great work of literature for two imbeciles who are, who are too lazy to read. Nor would I expect you to, Monsieur. But what can you tell us about the physical book itself? This particular book didn't come from any library. It's just, if that's what, you, what you're asking, see, if you're, as you're asking, see, there's no library stamp, ca stamp or card. Yeah, the, oh, yeah. oh man, it's like it's switching the voices. It's yeah, rough. it's difficult. I assume it was acquired from a bookshop, a French bookshop. If the French translation and publishing information wasn't a giveaway. I see, <clears throat> thank you. Did you have any other questions, or can I get back to work? You seem like a scholarly, well, well-read individual. I'm sure you're up to date on geopolitical news and the like. I don't need your praise. Spit out whatever imbecile question it is. You <laughs> is it in the back of your throat? What a jackass! Uh, well, we understand that the Spanish throne is currently under dispute. Can you give us a brief rundown on who the contenders are? What a trivial question! Even an elementary school child can name, name the immediate heirs to every throne in Europe. Yeah, but for the sake of those children who slept through that class, can you refresh our memories? Very well. Pay attention, because I'm not repeating myself. The current reigning monarch of Spain is Queen R Rigna Isabel II of the House of, of, Bo of Bourbon, daughter of King Ferdinand the Seventh. Upon her death, the, cr the crown would likely fall, fall to her husband, King Consort Francis, Duke, Duke of Cadiz. Cadiz. Although it is certainly certainly possible that an immediate family member could stake uh, could stake a claim, however, the queen's position is currently being disputed by the by the Carolists 
headed by the uh, co uh the Count of Montemel Montemolian. Montemolian. <laughs> I hope I hope the answers I hope that answers your question. Yeah, yeah. Did you catch all of that, Sparrow Singer? Not a word. <laughs> God damn it, Monsieur. We're actually interested in Prince Juan Carrito of Spain. I don't think I heard that name in your explanation. A prince, Juan Carrito? Is that is that what I what you said, Monsieur? I think you you've been misinformed. There's no current prince of Spain, and yeah, I'm but... and I'm not sure. I'm not even sure Credo is, is is a real name. It is certainly no lining of any Spanish monarchy. See, I like right away. I yeah. I was thinking that like he's not actually the prince of Spain, and we're stupid as hell. So yeah. How strange. What does this mean, Falcon? Well, one thing is for sure, a client is not the Prince of Spain. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da. Maybe he's a delusional lunatic. Perhaps he's involving us in some sort of con. Definitely. We don't have long before the trial, but it may be in our interest to confront... Oh, uh, ask if that mouse is in the chocolate store. Yeah. Right. Are you... Oh, yeah. Are you Are you two quite done chit-chatting? I got some waffles to make. <laughs> don't worry, Monsieur. I think we're done here. Thanks for your time. Then I bid you good day. <laughs> I gotta go have sex with a dragon. <laughs> and make donkey dragons. Prison. We gotta check that out. <clears throat> so what? Uh, oh yeah. shit, that's gonna take a day too. Oh uh, shit. I'd say confront. Yeah. Yeah, we could confront him. I mean, do we have any more evidence? Uh, prove. Well, yeah, we have that guy's testimony. Yeah. But... Yeah, I I think this is the the best. Yeah, we can go, go to go press him. I mean, that's it. Just came up now, so I mean, I have no time for your quibbling, once you Stand aside. You can't talk to me like that. I most certainly can. We have reason to believe that you are housing a suspect under false pretenses, as in direct violation of statutes 204B and 488C of the French Criminal Code of Justice. Failure to comply with our request may result in you, yes you, Monsieur, being held indirectly responsible for any consequential legal action. All right, all right. No need to break out the legal ace on me. I'll go open the cell. Well, fucking. How did you memorize those criminal codes? Memorize? Come on, Sparrison. Learn how to bluff. <laughs> Turn the radio um, off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Senor Falcon, it's good to see you again. You have some good news about my case, I hope. Ooh. Yeah, we're... we're why do I want to be angry? We'll be polite. Yeah. We're representing him. This is our big case. Yes. Yeah, you don't want to just run and be like, yeah, I'm going to kill you. In order to maximize our chances of a successful trial, I need to know every bit of information. I can't work with half-truths. If you keep telling me one thing and the prosecution's evidence tells me another, then we're both in trouble. I'm afraid I don't quite follow, senor. Do you want me to spell it out? I know that you are not the Prince of Spain. I know that your name is not Juan Querido. Where is this coming from? I assure you, senor, I am not I that I am who I claim to be. If you want your trial no, if you want your trial to be a farce, then you don't need my help. Come on, Sparrowson, we're leaving. Wait, wait, wait. Calm yourself, Monsieur Falcon. A reveal. Did you just say Monsieur? What happened to your Spanish accent? Your suspicions are well placed, Juan <laughs> And I am not the Spanish queen. <laughs> that was just the persona I concocted for the it's purpose like of drunk using Jacques Cousteau. Oh! He's the investigator. I think. So, what is your real name? What's in a name? It's just an empty level. A vapid reflection of who we really are. 
Today I am Juan Carlito the Prince of Spain. Tomorrow I may be Bruno Real, a popper living under the bridge of Saeed. Oh my god, he's a ninja. Well, that doesn't change who I am or what I do. <laughs> that didn't that didn't really answer my question. It's like he's clearly doing a fake French accent. <laughs> <laughs> and they just like, think that's his real voice. I smell the beard, Monsieur Falcon. I suspect that you already know my real name. I can't even understand. He, he's, he's, oops. He's Don Quixote. <laughs> you are Don Quixote. <laughs> you're, you're the undying spirit of Don Quixote. <laughs> Don You're Coyote. Renard Hoops, private investigator. Well, and you are Monsieur Falcon, private defense attorney. Tattoo. But that wasn't always your name, was it? No, that wasn't always your name, was it, Monsieur Falcon? Just like me, you know how to adopt a new persona on a whim. You changed your name, Falcon. I didn't know that. This isn't about me, Juan. Renard, Monsieur, we're trying to uncover the truth here. Of course. So what truth was you got you all attempting to uncover, Monsieur Bergon? Why would you want to get arrested? Hmm. You're putting me in a difficult position, Monsieur. If I tell you the full story, I would be putting someone else in danger. Probably the other attorney who is like, just sabotaging me. That's all this was. <laughs> Big plot. Now, my, yeah. my guess is it's the swan lady mixed up in something about this. Yeah. 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 It's a good guess, too. I, I'm leaning more towards yours, actually. Uh, how about this? I'll tell you a story. I like stories. That was a girl. A mademoiselle. Oh, yep. Here it is. You're right. Mademoiselle who is in great deal of debt. Everyone has a debt these days. Yeah, he was talking it's to her about that. Oh dear. Indeed, but this is a particular mademoiselle who was indebted to a very powerful man. And that man wished to collect. The mademoiselle had no means of pairing, so the man offered her a deal. Murder this man and I will forget. And I will forget what you are owed. Refuse and I will reap what I am owed from your parents. <laughs> so, with no alternative options, the mademoiselle accepted. But another man, a gallant knight with foolish, archaic notions of chivalry, heard the mademoiselle's story. Aww. The knight knew that murder was inevitable, and he saw a way to take the fall in the mademoiselle's place. You understand what I am saying, monsieur? 